Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. Today's video is finally my lounge fly haul. So how this all started was as it was running up to my birthday, Loungefly released these mini mouse ears that I was just absolutely obsessed with and I was like, I have to get them. So then my birthday came, I got some birthday money and I was like, I'm going to treat myself because usually I save my birthday money for like tattoos and stuff but I had a lockdown birthday so I was like, who knows when the next time I'm going to get a tattoo is, why not just buy something to make myself happy in this moment. So I go into the Loungefly website and yes it was loungefly.com and sometimes websites like that don't let you actually order from the UK because it is a US sort of website. But I went on anyway and found the ears, put them in the shopping bag and then just started having a wee browse around, you know, as you do. And then next thing I have like a basket full of things that I am just obsessed with as much as the ears, pretty much spent all of my birthday money on that site. Then I go to check out and of course it does not ship to the UK. So then that left me very sad and I was like no, I need these ears and it's just so impossible to get lunch flight in the UK, like it's so, so hard. So I then put out a wee question on Instagram asking people if they could send me links to places that they have got lunch fly as I was struggling so hard to find all these things. And then because I was searching so much lunch fly, I ended up coming across another two things that I wanted to buy. And as you can imagine, this is a very expensive video. So I'll let you know everywhere that I've got stuff from, what the price was, and I've found as much information as I can that compares it from the original price so that if you're looking for anything like this, you can sort of have an idea how much you're gonna spend if you're from the UK and you want lounge fly yourself. And as always, I will put a link down below in the description just so that you guys can go straight to the websites and hopefully it's a wee bit easier for you. So of course, to start this video off, the first thing that I will show you is what started this whole video. This pair of ears that are in this bag. I actually love this bag. I have never had a pair of ears that came in a bag and they're probably gonna keep these ears in this bag just because they are very, very expensive and I don't want anything to happen to them. And I also kind of want to just do these ones first so that I can wear them the whole video. Now if you watched my video of my ear collection, you would have seen these already. And I did say in that I didn't tell you the whole story so you had to come to this video to see that. But I will also link that video down below in case you want to see the other ears that I have. But I hope you can all see just why I was so obsessed with these. So. These make it look as if you've literally got the cartoon ears drawn onto your head. It's just crazy. And they're also a very sort of solid material. I don't think these ones will be breaking anytime soon. Nice and lightweight, they're not too heavy on my head. And when I put them on, so far they feel pretty comfortable. And it also has the Loungefly logo just along the side of the headband there. Just look at these ears guys, I think they're absolutely incredible. And as I'm always saying, I just can't wait to get back to the parks and get these on. Get some lovely pictures in front of the castle, maybe even meet Minnie Mouse again. They are quite hard to get a picture of because as you can see, my light is just reflecting off it so bad. But I am absolutely in love with these ears. Now, the only place I could find these online was eBay. And I did not want to buy them from eBay at all as... The prices on it were absolutely shocking. Some of the prices was like £70 for a pair of ears and yes, as much as I'm saying I absolutely adore them, I was not willing to pay £70 for them. But then I was literally searching every single day. So it just happened to be one day the seller popped up and they were for £35 and then in my head I was like, oh that's only £5 above retail price, that's really good so I'll buy them before actually thinking, oh no, the retail price is $30. So that works out that in pounds, it would actually be roughly £23.34. So in the long run, I paid an extra 10, I can't do the math here. I paid an extra £11.66, I think, roughly which is actually still not bad and then the shipping was just like £9 so I was below £50 anyway altogether and I'm still so happy and so glad that I did actually just go for them. But that is something to remember to not be as silly as me and think something's only a tiny bit above retail price remembering that the original price is actually in dollars or euros or anything. 
just trying not to be as silly as me. Now, the next thing I bought is actually to replace the bag that's currently holding all my Minnie Mouse ears, which is my weekend bag. And now, if you go to Disneyland Paris a lot, you know yourself, you only need a weekend bag. You don't need to pack as much as you do usually for Walt Disney World. And again, when I saw this, I was like, that's just absolutely perfect. Because also, the one I bought was from Primark, and yes, Primark's quite good, but stuff doesn't last as long as you would like so i'm hoping this one's a lot firmer and will last so much longer and again this just has the most adorable mickey mouse print on it not really sure how i'll show you the whole bag as the way my setup is this camera is literally right in front of me so i'll try and show you the best that i can it's actually been packed away for that long i'm gonna have to try and like stretch this out because it's kind of stuck in that position so I've tried to stretch out as much as I can and it's still sort of sitting in this awkward position. I have been pushing it out as much as I can so I'm probably going to have to put some sort of weight inside it. So hopefully stretches it out. So as you can see this is a pretty decent sized bag and if I hold it out like that you can see what sort of size it is and how deep it is. And this one only has a pocket on one side whereas sometimes these bags usually have a double sided one. I also had the Disney Lounge Flight logo on the front there. So here's a closer look at the actual bag itself and as you can see on the lovely wee print here we have Mickey and then it's also a shadow but it's as if he's like slowly disappearing as you can see sometimes with his shorts and shoes on, sometimes just his hands, sometimes absolutely nothing and then the whole Mickey there. There's also a really cute one where he's sitting down. It actually looks like the wee scared Mickey there. Now earlier I spoke about how there was only one side pocket, but I have found out it's actually not a side pocket and I'm quite sad about it because that's where I keep my passport and everything. This, as you can see, goes right inside. It's going to be a wee bit harder to show you this, but it goes all the way in here. So I have never seen this inside a bag before. I'm guessing there might just be somewhere to put your shoes in. When you're looking at it that way, it kind of reminds me of like a wee pet carrier. So it's a wee bit weird. Like I said, I am quite sad that there's not a side pocket in it. The only sort of pocket is this wee tiny one here. There's not one on this side or inside either of the side bits. And again, no pocket on that side either. I do quite like this sort of stripey print on the inside. It goes well and also having a light inside bag also makes it look a lot bigger and a lot easier to find stuff. And now, so far I've managed to sort of flatten this out a wee bit more, but I do think it's pretty much going to be stuck like that the whole time. So I'm guessing they probably should not have packaged it that way. And here you have the shoulder strap, which you can put to any length that you like. And that's always my preferred way of carrying this sort of bag. So this bag again I paid more than the retail price so I found this on Pop in a Box for $59.99 and the original price was $60 and $60 in pounds works out at about £46.71. I'm just getting all these numbers from Google so if they're not perfect you can blame Google not me but I was so happy to be able to source this bag from like an official company instead of it being another purchase from eBay because again this was also on eBay and on Amazon but it was selling for quite a high price as well and I would say since this bag is only going to be getting used when I go to Disneyland Paris which isn't as often and at the moment who knows when I'll next go it's definitely not something you want to spend too much money on. Now this next thing isn't actually Disney but it's from another franchise that I adore which is Stranger Things and during lockdown I started using my colouring book again and I did have a lot of pens that I bought and didn't have anywhere to put them so I decided since I wasn't wearing makeup at that point I just emptied that all out, sat it on a shelf and then used the makeup bag for the pens and then it meant when it came back to like normal life starting to do my eyeliner all the time I then didn't have anywhere to store that so this came in handy because it's a wee makeup bag and now the back of it might give you a wee idea from what the theme is of it and what season it came from. So this comes from season 3 and it is the place where Steve and Robin both work in the wee ice cream parlour called Scoops Ahoy and I was absolutely obsessed with their cute little sailor uniforms and especially Steve's like can you imagine someone his age nowadays 
actually having to wear that uniform work, people would be like, no chance. But I thought he suited it so well and the two of them just make the best duo out of the whole of season three. I actually thought inside there would be a similar sort of pattern to the outside, but this actually matches the pattern on the inside of the overnight bag that I've got. So I'm not sure if this is a regular pattern that Loungefly uses for bags and purses and things. Maybe it is. And now some of you also might be looking at this saying, Jen, that is the tiniest makeup bag ever. In case you haven't noticed, I only wear eyeliner, sometimes mascara, so this will even be too big for that. Now, this came from somewhere called Toto's Toy Box and what happened was it has it sort of on sale but not on sale. It tells you it's not in stock but you can pre-order so that when it does come in stock, you're the first person that has it. And so I pre-ordered it. I can't remember if I paid for it straight away or if they waited until it was actually in stock to take the money but it was a couple of weeks later and I just got an email from them saying, oh, that's your order shipped and I was like, I didn't even know it was back in stock yet so I was very very excited and now I cannot find the original price for this because it's only on places that are reselling it so I can't judge off that if it's the original price or not but I got this for £9.49 and I believe that that was a very similar price to what I was going to buy on the Loungefly website so again I was very happy with this purchase. This next item is also something that I use when I go around the parks and again, can't wait to get back in the park to use it but it's very very handy for holding your tickets and for showcasing all your lovely pins. As you may have guessed, it is a lovely new lanyard for me and this one celebrates the sensational six. And as you can see there, we have Pluto, Daisy, Goofy, Minnie, Mickey and Donald. And then there's also this little adorable Mickey Mouse shorts keychain on it. And for me, what I was obsessed about this was all the little details on the actual lanyard itself. As it's all like there are clothes, wee items, wee hands. He's actually doing that. And this is also a lanyard that could go with absolutely any outfit that you were wearing and also lovely Disney themed. I also like the idea of how good material this felt because the ones that I do have from the parks are sort of plasticky and they feel a bit flimsy so because I don't have a pass and don't have like a an official ticket that's solid I usually just end up with the wee paper tickets and they get bent so easily and then it makes it so much harder to scan as you're entering the park and you want to get in the park as easy as you can. This is another one that I paid quite a bit over the retail price for it as this was literally the only place that I could find it again minus it just being on eBay. So this one came from Double Box Toys and I need to say a big thank you to Instagram for letting me know about this website. I had never ever heard of it before and quite a few people were telling me to be prepared to pay a lot of money on this website but I would say it probably has the biggest loungefly collection that you can get, that you can get access to in the UK so Depends how much you really, really want something, whether you're going to buy it or not from this site because it is expensive and again, I'll link it down below. Now, I spent £22.50 on this and the retail price was $12, which works in as £9.34. So, I did pay quite a bit over the retail price, but I do believe that this is very sturdy and again, because it's something that I only use a couple of times in the parks and probably won't use it anywhere else, it will definitely last me a very long time. And it's also just adorable. I couldn't not own this. So that's me finished with everything that I found from the Loungefly website and I had in my basket that then found out I couldn't get shipped over here. And then, like I said earlier on in the video, there was two things that I came across that I really, really liked as well, just because I was constantly searching for Loungefly. It was the only thing coming up advertised anywhere on my Instagram, on Facebook, everything that was just Loungefly. It was it's mental how the internet works, isn't it? And as you can see, this came from eBay and the next item also came from eBay. But this is something that I only saw released in the parks and I am quite obsessed with things that only get released in the parks because the parks have some of the best merch that you can get and it is quite hard to get a lot of the stuff, again, in the UK. Because I've also only really seen it talked about in Walt Disney World. I'm not sure if you could get this in Disneyland Paris or not. Let me know in the comments down below if you saw it in Disneyland Paris. Maybe I'm wrong, but at the moment I'm thinking it was just a Walt Disney World item. What I really liked about this eBay seller though was 
this is how they've packaged it. So it's just a wee pin that's in here, but they've put it in a nice sturdy box. It's not going to get damaged. And Mickey Mouse tissue paper. Like this paper is just so cute, I might actually keep it. But it made me feel like I was buying from a wee small shop because usually this is the sort of packaging that they use. So this eBay seller was. I'm very thankful for them being so nice and as you can see here it's wrapped in lovely bubble wrapping and there's also a wee thank you letter in it as well. So this is a lovely little pin that went in with the Andale Aqua collection and this is a pin of the lounge fly bag that you could get and I did like this lounge fly but like I said in some of my other videos because the backpacks are so expensive and I would only probably use it in the park. I wasn't going to buy it, but I was obsessed with how sparkly it is. So I was taking out this wee wrapper, I actually noticed in the back it says Disney Theme Park Merchandise. So I think I'm correct in saying it was only released in the parks and possibly only in Walt Disney World as it does say Florida there. And as you can see the original price is on it as well, which was $15.99. And now $15.99 in pounds works out at about £12.45 pence and the price I paid on eBay for this was £12.46 pence so this was the best find that I found so far and as you saw it was wrapped perfectly so the eBay seller obviously they're quite a good one. I hope they're not one of these ones that purchases absolutely everything because that is a very horrible thing to do for people that genuinely do want these things and when they go they can't get it because people have bought them just to sell them at stupid prices but this one was only a one pence more than what I would have paid for in the park so I got very lucky with this one and again just look at the shine on that it was so sparkly so I actually didn't know this was released in the first place with the whole collection I did think I had already seen it so when I came across this I was like that's kind of really cute. And another thing to point out is the Mickey Mouse back on it which means you can officially trade with this one. I've actually never done any pin trading myself so maybe depending next time I get into the parks if pin trading is a thing maybe I'll bring this one and see what I can get for it. Let me know in the comments down below if you do Disney pin trading yourself and what all the tips and tricks are to it, how to find the best ones and also if I'm correct on this is the right back you can use or not. Now this next one is actually my last item and is also a pin but it's actually the thing I've been most excited about filming this video for because it is a mystery pin. Now first thing I'm going to show you is actually this came with a sticker and I'm guessing this is like the official eBay seller's name maybe but it's quite cute the wee raccoon and this mystery pin is the Pixar pins and wait till you see what I could get. So this was released back in June and this is a part of the Alien Remix collection. If you all saw my last Lotso video you will see that I have the Alien that's dressed as Lotso of course because he's my favourite but out of this collection I really hope I get Remy or Woody but I have heard that as you can see here it says Chase under Wally and I think he is the rarest one that you can get so again I would maybe like to get Wally because he's rare but I do believe the eBay seller has probably opened this already and seen what pins inside and I think if it was the Wally one unless they had loads of them they wouldn't have sold it to me. Now I have also looked everywhere to try and find the original price of this one and again I cannot find it anywhere it's not on the Loungefly website anymore because they are pretty much sold out. Well sold out officially obviously there's still the resellers or I wouldn't have got this so I got this on eBay for £9.34 again if you know about all these pins and lounge fly things let me know down below if this is a rip off or if I got lucky paying that price for it or it could possibly mean that like I said if the seller knows what's in it it may actually be a rubbish one but just keep your fingers crossed that I get one that I want so it's actually fully sealed um, I don't know if the seller could feel about and feel who it was or maybe I don't know if there's a way like official sites could get sent some of the mystery ones and get told how many of each character they have. I have absolutely no clue but this has made me a lot more excited because it means I could get a good one in it. So again keep those fingers crossed for me please and let me know down below as well what one you think that I will get or what one you hope that I get. I got Wally, I actually, I got Wally! Oh my god, I got Wally! Look at that guys, 
I got Wally. Oh my god, I am. <gasps> He's just adorable. I'm going to search how actual rare this one is. Because I might just have got unbelievably lucky with my pick. Usually I don't get the good ones out of blind boxes. I got a good pair of ears that I spoke about in my ears video from the Clears blind bag for mini ears. But every other blind bag I've had to like feel about for things to try and get the good ones. So I'm going to Google this. So I'm on Disney Pins blog here and it says... The assortment features six alien pins dressed in different Pixar characters. They feature Mr. Incredible, Angar, Remy, Russell, Woody and Wally. The rare pin is Wally. And then someone tell me what Chase actually means. I always thought you had like an original version of something and then there was like a rare version of that original one. That's what I've sort of guessed from some of the pops that I've looked at that are chases, whatever it means. But I have no clue, I'm still new to all this. So on eBay I have found the Wally Chaser pin getting sold for $39.99 and above it I can get the Russell Up Alien Remix pin for $19.99 so maybe it is quite rare but also they did recently release the Wally pin in the Remix collection you can get from Shop Disney and now as far as I know you can only buy them in packs of four and it was like £25, £24.99 something like that so while editing this I thought I'd double check on what I said about you can only buy them in a pack of four and not on their own just to check if I was correct on that or not so I actually found out as you can see here you can buy the Lotso pin on its own so obviously if you saw my Lotso video you see I talk about it how I really wanted to get it and wasn't going to buy it as a four because I just didn't think it would be worth it and then as you see at the bottom it says limit one which fair enough it is a limited edition thing so you can see when I click add to bag it goes to limit zero which I didn't really think anything of I thought that was just how it was going to change but I'd never noticed that before anything else that you could only buy one of and then I buy it I go back onto it and then it comes up that it is out of stock so have I just got the last Remix Alien Lots open? Maybe? I'm quite excited about that. So maybe it's not that rare from this box, yes, but since you can get it from that collection, kind of defeats the purpose of it being rare. Now I'm just putting myself down now, I feel like I've not won. No, I'm so happy with that because I never get the ones that are classed as special or rare. So I'm really happy with this. Again, I'm just going to show you another wee close-up. He is just, he's actually really, really cute. Well guys, I'm very chuffed with my Learn Fly haul, especially that wee last pin that I got the mystery one. Let me know if you would like me to try and source some more mystery pins and I can do a whole video on mystery pins maybe. I have done one mystery pin before now and it was the release of the original VHS covers, like the old videotapes. And I managed to get the Ariel one from it. Of course I was going for Toy Story but I got Ariel and she is quite cute anyway. But let me know if you'd like to see a whole video where I just open some mystery pins and see what I get. Who knows, I might end up with a whole entire collection just of one character. Who knows? And remember guys, if you like this video to give it a lovely wee thumbs up and if you liked anything in this video let me know down below what your favourite was or if there's any lounge fly that you have or that you've been trying to source and again I will also have all the links to where I bought these things from minus eBay I'll have the official shops linked in the description down below and if you know anyone out there that loves lounge fly and Disney themselves make sure to send this video to them because maybe they'll enjoy them and maybe even more places to source from the UK as always I do really hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all real soon bye